And how does one counter this influence? Through constant innovation, India's ISRO is showing the way, not resting on its laurels. Just days after the grand success of the moon landing, India's space agency is gearing up for the next adventure. And this time, India is going to the sun. The mission is called Aditya L1. Aditya means the sun in Sanskrit. And what is the meaning of L1? That's the final destination of this mission. I'll explain in a bit. Let's start with the launch, though. It is scheduled for the 2nd of September, this Saturday. And what is the meaning of Aditya L1, rather? And what is the meaning of L1? That's the final destination of the mission. I'll explain in a bit. Let's start with the launch. It is scheduled for the 2nd of September, that is this Saturday. This is a mission to study the sun's atmosphere and environment. The spacecraft weighs 1,500 kilos. It is carrying special equipment to be used for scientific experiments. Aditya L1 has a long list of objectives. The ISRO wants to know more about the sun's outer layer. It is called the corona. Not the kind of corona that China became famous for. This is about the sun. ISRO wants to understand how the sun works. And by that, I mean solar activity. How it affects the planets in our solar system. Things like solar flares and solar winds. How do they affect the Earth? ISRO will try to answer all these questions with this mission. It plans to travel to a very special location near the Sun. It is called the Lagrange Point 1, or L1, the one that we mentioned earlier. And what is special about L1? Let me use the example of a seesaw to understand how this works. How does a seesaw work? It always tilts on the heavier side. And when that happens, the lighter side goes up. And the person on the heavier side goes down. The Earth and the Sun work in a similar way, like two sides of a seesaw. They're constantly shifting. The Sun is very large, so it, it exerts a lot of force, a great force on the Earth, gravitational force. And the Earth is constantly moving around the Sun, so it, it cancels out the Sun's gravitational force. Now imagine if you were to sit at the center of the seesaw. What would happen? Neither end would rise or fall. The seesaw would be balanced. And this spot of balance is what scientists call the Lagrange point, or L1. And that's where Aditya L1 plans to go. Why choose this specific point? It's like having the perfect seat at a concert. You get the best view. And that's what ISRO is after. The spacecraft would remain in position. It will not feel the impact of gravity. Plus, it will save fuel. And the views are great. There won't be any obstruction. The US Space Agency, NASA, agrees. It says, at L1, you'll get an uninterrupted view of the sun. So we're hoping for some good pictures. But getting there is no cakewalk. The L1 spot is 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. Now, we try to do some math here. If you were to drive your car to L1 at 100 kilometers per hour, you'd take almost two years to get there. And I'll be honest, our maths is not as good as ISRO scientists, but even we know that you can't drive cars in space. So this was just to give you an idea of how far it is. Of course, ISRO has figured out a more efficient way of getting there. They say it will take four months for the spacecraft to reach. And this is a very important mission. You see, the sun is the nearest star to the Earth, and it behaves a bit like Thanos with its five infinity stones. It releases immense amounts of energy. Scientists have a term for it. Eruptive phenomena, that's what they call it. Simply put, it means large bursts of energy, sort of like the sun catching a cold and sneezing. Now, we don't know what happens after that. And by we, I mean humankind. We don't know. We have, we have a very limited understanding of how the sun works. We need to study it better and also to prepare for situations that may potentially harm our planet. Aditya L1 aims to deliver this to help us understand what's going on up there. And in typical ISRO style, this is a mission on a budget. The government of India cleared it in 2019. $46 million were set aside for this mission. That's less than Chandrayaan, Chandrayaan 3's budget. The moon mission cost $75 million. And it proved to be a good investment. It has detect detected sulfur and other elements near the moon's south pole. Now, ISRO is aiming for the sun. And 1.4 billion Indians are cheering them on.